everybody this is Patricia and welcome back to my channel today we are going to unbox my boxy charm now if you watch yesterday's ipsy I look the same that's because they both came on the same day and here I am I decided to film them both so I can get in there and play with these products so let's get in Woo! I don't know what's in my boxy charm I haven't even seen um, Spoilers, because I have been just really busy. Uh, but anyway, let me... I digress. Let's just get going. This one's called Caribbean Queen. Yay. And it's a little card like this this time. Okay. Ooh, I see Bum Bum Cream. A code for Bum Bum Cream. And I see... Bum Bum Cream. Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Uh, Sol de Janeiro. I had a big jar of this. Mm, there it is. This smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's supposed to firm and tighten your skin. I never saw any evidence of that. And I think most people don't really care because this smells so amazing. And I found a dupe. When I do my review at the end of the month of my boxes and bags, I will show you the dupe I found at Bath and Body Works. I found a dupe because this stuff ain't cheap. Let me see. Bum Bum Cream. Well, this little one is worth $10. I believe that. Uh, the travel size I bought was a little bigger, and I believe it was $20, and then the big jar, I'm not sure how much it is. It's expensive. Um, and I found it was too expensive just because I love the smell. Uh, this says it's fast absorbing body cream, which it is. Helps tighten and smooth like no other. I have never found that it helped tighten or smooth anything. I'm just being honest with you. But the smell is so amazing. I don't think you really care. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Let me set that aside. Let me see what's in here next. <gasps> Wow, I got more Luxie brushes. Yay! I just got a Luxie brush, an eyeshadow brush, in my Ipsy, and now I've got these. Three. These are three. I count these as three things. They count them as one. BoxyCharm does, but I count them as three. Let's see. Here they are. I love Luxie brushes. I really do. This one's a nice pointed. Well, this these two look alike to me. No. Yeah. Okay, this this is dual fiber powder brush. It look, it's flat like that and it looks like it would be a good blush brush maybe. Look at those. Can you see the brown is denser than the light on the top? I don't know if you can see that. That's amazing. I can see it through because of the ring light. Very interesting. This one is Precision Foundation. I might try that for my foundation. Um, and see how it works. I wouldn't think of using a brush like this for foundation, but I'll give it a shot. And this one is the tapered highlighter. I can see it's tapered. But I swear these two look identical to me, just about. This one goes in. This one fans out and is rounded. So anyway, that's the brushes. They're the three-piece Flawless Complexion set for $42. Uh, dollars. That is, that's true. These are great. These are great. Get those in there. Ah, I see another eyeliner. <laughs> and it's the same brand, Jante Blue. Oh, this one's brown. Yay! I'm tired of getting black eyeliners. I'm going to be truthful. Send me a different color. Uh, I didn't have like what I would call a dark brown eyeliner. Oh, look. At, this one's a pencil. Nice. I, oh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yay. Yeah. Okay. You're forgiven. You're forgiven, BoxyCharm. It's brown. If it was black, I'd be like, oh, no. Not another black eyeliner. 
how about some colors you know how about some fun colors but I'm happy with this um, this is waterproof I'm gonna need this for vacation I'm hinting I'll tell you all about a vacation on my chatty get ready with me uh, but one of you already knows okay <laughs> this one is five dollars Wow Wow that's not bad is it five dollars for this hmm, okay definitely we'll give that a try see how that works Ofra Ofra long-lasting liquid lips I love Ofra I've only I believe only purchased or I haven't purchased but only have gotten my Ofra products through subscriptions but I really have liked every Ofra product I've received I believed I just received one in my Ipsy. Hang on. I told you I was filming back to back. Yeah, I got the blush in my Ipsy and I got a lip in BoxyCharm. So let's look at this. It looks brown. I'm not a big brown lip person. But I'll give it a try. If it if it shifts cool. I might like it. It might be good to mix. It's in Verona. Verona. Let me read about it. Um, it's just one of their long-lasting liquid lips. It doesn't feather. It says, these vibrant colors will give you a vivacious new look. Give me a vibrant color. Look what I got on my lips today. I bet these two, this with this, might make a beautiful lip shade. I try it out. This is $21. That's a that's a great price for this. I, I that doesn't that to me does not seem like overpriced. I'm okay with that. Next, I got a box. Baddington lashes. Lord, let me see. Oh, eyelashes. You know, I don't really wear artificial lashes. I do have some. Boxy Charms sent me some before. I still got them. I wore them one time. Again, I will try these. I will wear them. I think in that um, video I did where I did Sophia Loren's makeup, copied her makeup, I should have put false eyelashes on. I think when I do those videos, I will be using false eyelashes. And so these will come in handy when I do my next one, which I'm not sure when that's going to be yet. But I will try these. I do not, I'm not sorry I got false lashes. And, oh, how much are they? 28 bucks. See, I'm used to paying a dollar at Shop Miss A, but I don't really wear them that often. Uh, they're Monroe Silk Lashes. Hmm. wonder if I should copy Marilyn Monroe's makeup. What do you think? Leave it down below. I think I should do that. And then last is a palette. This is the big thing. Let me get rid of the box. Just throw it in the floor. Uh, Alamar Cosmetics. Uh, Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette volume one inspired by the beauty and rich culture of Cuba <gasps> love Cuba if any of you don't know when I was in college in Fort Lauderdale I lived for a while in Miami with a Cuban family so I love Cuba I love everything about Cuba I love the culture I love the food oh my gosh just I love Cuba so I'm excited. Oh, I can't wait to look at these. $28. Um, for a more intense application, refer to the shade names that feature a water droplet that can be used with a brush. The sun symbol for application with a droplet brush. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, oh man, I'm excited. I got a little eyeshadow in the middle. Just clean up a little. Look at these shades. There's no mirror. I'm okay with that. Look at those shades. Now what are they talking about? Okay, I see the shimmers have a little water drop. So that means you can wet your brush to get a little more intense application. And then the mattes, which these are nice mattes. They have the sun symbol. I think if you're really into makeup, you already kind of know that. Oh, gosh, these colors. Look at this. Let's swatch. I'm going to swatch them all. Y'all don't mind? 
I'm going to swatch them all. Of course, y'all probably already have this palette, too. And some of these are in Spanish. I don't know how good my pronunciation is. I will try. Okay, I'm going to start from the top and work down. So I'm going to go this way, this way, this way, this way. So I'm going to start with La Costa. Oh, my. These feel so creamy. These shimmers. I'm going to put it right here. That shimmer feels so creamy. Can, oh, gosh. I can't see it in my viewfinder, but I am pretty sure. I hope you can see. That's gorgeous. I can't believe how they feel wet. That's. And next is El El Macion. El Macion. Malison. El Malison. I'll get that right. Oh gosh, that's a beautiful green kind of gold. Oh my. Gracious, can you see that? That is gorgeous. I can't wait to play with that color. I wish I could see it in the viewfinder. I don't really see it. Next is, um, I can't remember if V's are pronounced B or, I think they're pronounced B. Baradero, Baradero, Baradero. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. I know. Oh, golly. And that's not wet. That's using my finger. Oh, I am ready to play with that one. Next is Celia. And that's a green. Oh, my gosh. Look at that green. Jeez. 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 I put these right up there with a Huda Beauty palette for those shimmers. Look at that. Next, Coco Taxi. And we're in the mattes. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Let me, I think I might need to dip in there again. Oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. And then Tropico. Tropico, I know I don't have anything like this. Oh, it's a rich terracotta. Look at that. One swipe. Next is, mmm, this one's going to test me. Guatanamera. Guatanamera. Oh, it's a beautiful wine. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Guanta Guantanamera. Not sure. And Cafecito is a coffee brown. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at those shades. Are those not the most gorgeous things you've seen? This palette is amazing. I have to research this some more. So, Rana del Carib. Alamar Cosmetics, Miami, Florida. Wow. Delicate shimmers, high shine metallics, and velvety mattes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I think I see more of her uh, shadows in my future. I, this might be the only one she has right now. I'm going to research that. And that was only $28? Girl, they're worth more than $28. Those are nice. So I'm going to add these up. I always round up, round down, so I won't give you an exact price. It's just kind of a ballpark. So 28, I'll make that 30. The lashes, 28, I'll make that 30. So we're at 60. Bum Bum Cream, 10, that's 70. Lexi at 42, so that's 70. 110, 112, 120. 140. We're ballpark around 140. Eyeliner was 5. Ofra was 21. So, around $140. Not exact. Just, I rounded up, rounded down. Wow. That is, I, I am so pleased with this, um, this boxy charm. This has been, I, I can't wait to play in these colors. I just, Oh, I guess we know what we're going to do for my try to get ready with me, aren't we? Yes, we are. So, like I said, at the end of the month, 
I take and review all of my subscription boxes and bags and do it in one video. And I'm going to try every one of these products. I already know about the Bum Bum Cream. I probably won't actually try it. I might save that and take it with me when I go to the Bahamas. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to kind of set it aside. But I will tell you what I think about it again in the review because, like I said, I love it. Smells great. Doesn't tighten anything. That's okay. So anyway, I'll try everything. I'll let you know at the end of the month. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I love it if you would subscribe and leave a little comment below to let me know, hey, I'm new, I'm here, just so I can say hi and welcome. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. i answer every single one. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. That helps me out too. I highly appreciate it. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.